I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the beginning of the video to let y'all know that I have merch. Here it is on the screen. Please go buy it. I worked hard trying to come up with the designs and I would love to see y'all in it. Cue the intro. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Naya and Naya and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my girl talk video. But as a little twist, I'm going to be doing my makeup because y'all know I like doing my makeup. Should I stop this? I feel like it throws people off. Let me just change it to one color. So without further ado, let's just get started. Like while I'm doing the girl talk, I'm also going to be doing a little TikTok tutorial. Really nigga? Because I want it, because I haven't done one for my makeup in a long time. So I kind of want to do it. So let me just find a sound. Y'all know how that go. Oh, let me get my palettes. We have this one. This is kind of boring. I low-key like using this one a lot because they're very pigmented. This one again is kind of boring. I think I'm going to use this one today and I want to use this peach color. Like these two colors right here. Always moisturize your face before you do your makeup so you won't look dry. I feel like the light is just really bright right now. Yo, I have all the girl talk questions saved in my favorites. So let me just go and scroll. Also, you guys, this is anonymous. I mean, girl talk questions are anonymous. So I'm not going to be putting them on the screen. Okay, so yeah, without further ado, let's actually get into this video. Girl and friend group caught me inward. Don't want to be friends. How do I get rid of her? So what do you... Okay, so first of all, honestly, she's not of color. And she said the inward to you, like, at you, then cut her off because she knows what she's doing. Definitely try to like educate her first. But if she already knew about it cut her off because now she's just being disrespectful for no reason and we don't do that sis not in this household what used to be one of your biggest insecurities and how did you overcome it oh this is a good question low key because i had two biggest insecurities my forehead and my eyes I obviously can see why they're both like bigger than average honestly now i could care less about what people think because i i like i'm very confident in myself like very maybe overly confident not cocky but like overly confident like back in like middle school i used to act like it didn't affect me i kind of talk about this in like other videos like it used to affect me a lot but i just made it seem like it didn't so like i feel like that's why people kept continuing i was just like well there's really nothing i can do about it so i might as well just like laugh along with these people's jokes because basically overcame it with confidence to be honest with you once i like glue up i guess you can say i kind of just started being confident in myself it just got to a point where it was like exhausting trying to worry about what everybody else thought and to be honest y'all in middle school i would literally always wear a headband but the thing was you guys know how headbands are supposed to go like here my headbands used to be like right here y'all if you're new here i always look ashy during this period i'm not really sure why i think i'm doing it wrong but like it it never comes out ashy so like i just it's a work in progress i feel like also growing up not being bullied but like having it talked about a lot kind of made me more confident about it because i'm just like oh well this is all they talk about i might as well just like flaunt it or whatever i think my makeup is about to come out bad because what am i doing yeah um this isn't working today like should i continue just to see like because i'm really i really don't know where this is going i'm gonna just keep going and act like i didn't mess up a boy likes me and i hate him um this then just drop him just ignore him honestly the best way to like get rid of a boy that's like obsessive the ones that are really nice but they're like doing too much you know like they just do too much but you don't really know how to just be like leave me alone because that's mean and they're really nice i would just say be dry with them but not mean like just be like like rush the conversation don't stretch it out you know don't make it last longer than either because they'll get the point at some point there's really no other way to go about it without being like a bitch or if you want to kind of like take the aggressive route maybe just block him i don't know yeah it's only my third day out here I don't know. how to get ready for a dick appointment i can't say that i have any knowledge on that but if you are going to one i'd say definitely like wash up like clean yourself Hmm. I kind of want to try a cut crease low key. Yeah, I would say definitely make sure you're clean. Maybe have like a pack of clothes. Brush your teeth maybe. Um, just essentials, honestly. <laughs> 
what new designs are you working on i'm actually gonna work on some on thursday i believe because i've just been like in like an unmotivated state but not unmotivated to the point i don't want to do anything because it's like i want to get up and film i want to edit because i have like three four videos i need to edit but it's just like i feel like why am i spending so much time on things that won't get appreciated and that's kind of like the point i am in life probably should get out of it but honestly it's just kind of like you can't really help it. I'm not trying to bring race into it because I know people love saying that. But it is definitely a thing about race too because it's like, it's like white girls literally doing the exact same thing that I'm doing that go viral after a week being on YouTube. I hope I did that like semi-correct. So honestly, I just been chilling. I mean, I'm not really trying to stress about it. I do plan on working on some like new things, new designs, trying to get all these videos out. Hopefully God gives me the strength to do this because child, how to make good friends at a new school is not a girl question, but I need help. That's fine. It doesn't have to be girly related questions, but like just, you know, advice type questions, life type questions. You have to like want to make friends to make friends you know you can't really go in with the mindset oh wow i did not know this was gonna pack on like that it definitely is a two-way street for making friends it's just like you have to want to make friends but then again you kind of like have to be around people that want to be your friend you know so i would just say be yourself definitely like just get into a club or something like do something I first moved into high school i got into your book and i've made like friends that i know that i'm gonna know my whole life from being in yearbook so it's just kind of like because you're going to make friends regardless but making good friends is really the important part and a good friend like the definition of a good friend is like somebody who's gonna like be there for you it doesn't really have to be ride or die since because you know some people some friends are literally for school only just gonna give you advice help you when you need it type situation but if you're watching this video you know i'm talking to you but um yeah i feel like you would make friends pretty well you're like a cool person i don't feel like there will be any difficulty at what age do girls mostly get their first period um i would say maybe like 12 13 i got mine when i was 13 or 12 one of the two i can't remember i tell everyone that i'm 13 but i'm nine don't really think that's a good idea because you're gonna get into the habit of that and you're gonna be like 15 telling people that you're like 19 and then you're gonna get some people in trouble so let's not do that how to deal with a bad period personally i like to like lay in bed or like cradle up into like a ball heat pads you can get like a heating blanket you can get one of those things that you can lay on and it massages your back if you don't have like a heat pad you can like get a towel like a wash towel soak it in steaming hot water i used to do this all the time squeeze it out really good fold it like that like really tight and then you know run it to your room get in your bed get comfortable and just like open it open it once out of the fold once that side gets cold you open it again and you just keep going and keep going that's literally how i like put myself to sleep sometimes when i have like really bad cramps and then obviously medication i prescribe for naproxen is like a really strong medication for cramps or like for pain how to tell if you're getting cheated on i've never been in a relationship to be concerned about getting cheated on but i feel like if you're getting cheated on you would know if the person is like paying less attention to you or like just not talking to you as much it seems like the conversations are getting dry and if you are getting cheated on or if you got cheated on i advise you to leave the relationship like it's never gonna get better I'm not trying to make that sound so dramatic but it is dramatic like they're never gonna stop cheating on you because they know they can get away with it so it's kind of hard for me to multitask when i'm trying to like dig into these questions but then also trying to do this how to tell if a guy likes you if a guy likes you you're gonna know that's on penny was yeah, they're always gonna compliment you that's one for sure like they're always gonna compliment you y'all why is my eye itching so bad worst period story oh she put story in parentheses honey hold on i'm trying to itch my eyelid the worst period story ever would have to be it was like a couple years ago actually and i was just chilling and then my period started so i was just like Ugh. i remember i took a shower and i was just like laying around i remember it was like a weekend all of a sudden my cramps got really bad but i was feeling so dizzy i tried to go to the kitchen and drink something but then i ended up like falling on the floor i didn't pass out though, i don't think but my mom was at work it was literally just me my little brother and my dad so they're confused they're laying on the kitchen floor 
like about to die. I remember my dad, he called my mom. He's like, what do I do? Like, cause I was, cause like the medicine I had took, I only had, I didn't have naproxen at the time. I only had Tylenol. I literally took like four y'all because I was just in so much pain. I just, <laughs> my dad ended up giving me like this really strong medicine. Like I'm not gonna say it, but it was like this really, really strong medicine. It had got prescribed to somebody in my house after like a really bad accident. I'm literally so happy and grateful for that. Cause honestly, I probably be like, <laughs> somewhere overdosed on Tylenol if it wasn't for that because when I tell y'all that pain was a different type of pain that day I don't know I've never experienced a worse period this is kind of cute y'all fucking lame most embarrassing moment I would say my most embarrassing moment in life I don't even know it was a long it was a minute ago I remember I was in class back when like we had to sit on carpets and then like your teacher would read something so like me and the whole class were like sitting on the carpet and looking up at your teacher and I remember I was just daydreaming like I remember this so vividly I remember I was daydreaming and then I was not paying any attention at all my teacher had called me I guess she either noticed I was zoned out or she was actually asking questions she had called me and then I like didn't hear her at first the boy next to me he had tapped me like all the kids in the whole like the whole carpet was staring at me so I just felt really embarrassed y'all probably was thinking about something like way more juicier but that was really embarrassing for me I definitely think I put too much glitter on this eye because this eye is like really itchy and this one's not but low-key I kind of want to add a pop of color y'all to put this purple line did i just do something or no kind of like it and i'm okay let me finish answering these questions hardest thing about being a girl definitely the periods and like the hormones because i tell y'all i catch attitudes out of nowhere i literally just sit here and think about an argument that happened like three years ago and i'm just like why would she say that like something you wish you knew before turning 18. When I turned 18, nothing really changed. I mean, this is not really something that I wish I knew, but I, like when you turn 18, you kind of are like way more conscious of like how old everybody is. How to go from a tomboy to a girly girl. You know, maybe makeup, lashes. Earlier today, I was kind of dressed like a tomboy, but like when I threw on my jean jacket and like the crop top, the necklace, like it kind of like feminized it a little bit more definitely not the right term but okay biggest lesson and regret from a relationship Just talking to a person my biggest lesson don't expect much from somebody hold on i just think this stuff is like irritating my eyes regardless of what they have in life or anything just don't expect much from people because no matter what people will always find a way to disappoint you biggest regret 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 <laughs> my biggest regret hmm expressing my feelings really early like i'm that type of person like if i feel some type of way i'll tell you especially if you ask <laughs> i know you don't catch feelings but what helps you get over a bad breakup that's funny for me a bad separation from talking to somebody for a while not watching their social media posts i just feel like that and just you know live in life like act like it didn't happen and let me get a real job because if you're still watching this video you're a real one um there was a person i was talking to for a long time and then after we had like just stopped talking people would always ask me like literally everybody would ask me like everybody would ask me <laughs> about this person so it was just kind of like i was so tired of hearing that person's name do you love to travel most of the time yes i love traveling i can't wait to do more of it starting next month so if you're not subscribed subscribe um but yeah that's all the questions so i'm about to go ahead and finish this makeup look real quick and i'm about to come back on the camera okay so after some deliberation i figured out that i don't like this makeup look why because my face makeup is a way too light i think we all knew that though okay oh Oh no. Love, what is this? Alpha! It's alpha! Maybe it's mental illness in it, love. With this being said, we're gonna go ahead and just end this video. Sorry for wasting your time if you thought that my makeup was gonna come out cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. If you want me to do more girl talks, please comment. Comment video suggestions regardless. Make sure you guys. Follow me on all my social medias at night and day and also subscribe to help me hit 100k because that is my goal and I really hope we hit it in 2020. I'm not going to doubt on her yet because I really do believe. Hope you guys sleep great tonight and I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye!